Okay, today in Ray's Arithmetic, we're going to go on to Lesson 2. And lesson 2 continues looking at numbers and figures 1 through 100. Last time we did 1 through 10. Today we're going to do 11 through 40. And what we'll do is similar to last time, we'll use some objects we're going to draw here on the board to visualize what we're counting. We're going to count those up first, and then we'll move on to writing the numbers for the numbers that we're counting, the figures for the numbers that we're counting. So let's put, uh, let's go with some stars because that's kind of interesting to look at, easy to draw, easy to count, easy to work with. So we're going to put some stars up here to do our counting with. Um, how about we put a group of them over here? Well, let me review last time, lesson one, we did one through ten, right? So let me just put those up on the board. We'll count out one through ten as we draw these out. So let's say there's our first little star, so that's star number one, right? So let's count up 10 first. There's 1, here we got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Let me reduce star number 10 there, okay. So there's 1 through 10, right? So that's what we did in lesson 1. Now let's put 11 through 40 up on the rest of the screen here. And that's going to be easy because we just put them in, we'll put them in three groups of 10 because that will add up to, uh, to our 40. So over here to the right a little bit, let's put our second group. Now we left off on 10 on that first one, right? So this one's going to be, what's after 10? 11? Yeah, 11. That's going to be that star there. So 11. Now we'll count these out 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's 11 through 20. Now let's go on and do our group from 21 through 30. Let's put that down here on the left corner, right over here. This one's going to be what? Star number 21. So 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay. Well, this is starting to look like a flag, isn't it? Eh, sort of. Well, let's put our last group of stars over here to the right. Now, we left off on, what, 30? So this is going to be star number, what, 31? So let's finish up with the 30s and end up on 40. So that's 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Okay, so we've got all of our stars up on the screen there. Let's go back and count through them to make sure we got them all right. We, we want to start at 11 and end up on 40. Okay, well actually let me go back and hit the review, this little group over in the corner seg sectioned off up in the upper left corner. Let me count those off first. You count with me, okay? So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, that's just a review of Lesson 1, basically. That was our first group, and now we're going to add the rest of these to them, and we're going to continue over here to the right. This one right here, which one is that? That's going to be 11. Okay, so let's continue. That's 11. Here we go. 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, let's move down over to the left, pick it up at 21, and then 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, last group over here to the right. That was 30 we left off on. This is what, 31? And then 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Okay, we got them all. So there is what, 11 through 40, actually 1 through 40, if you look at the whole screen. That's what 40 of anything looks like. This is 40 stars. You could count up and lay out 40 coins, dimes, pennies, nickels, whatever you want. Put them out in groups of four groups of ten, it's going to look just like this. You can line up anything in order like this, and it'll look pretty much like the stars on the screen. 
So that's 40. Now let's go back and the next thing we want to do for the rest of the lesson is look at what the figures for those numbers look like when we write them out. So let's say um, 11 is where we're going to start. What I'm going to do here is we're just going to write the numbers out for what we just counted, 11 through 40. So on this first screen, I'm going to put, uh, let me put two columns. Let's put 11 over here. That's where, whoop, let me switch back to my uh, a regular pen. Let me put an 11 right there. I better, for the sake of handwriting and clarity and all that, let me do this. There's 11, okay? So that's 11. A 1 next to a 1, that's 11. That's how we write it. So I'm going to put two columns of numbers here. We're going to count. This is going to be 11 through 20, okay? So let's count them out. And these are what the numbers are going to look like. So that's 11. Then we got, what, 12. So there's 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, continuing up at the top, move to the right a little bit. We got, what, 16, and then 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, so that's our first group. We're going to end up with three groups like this. So that's 11 through 20, right? Okay, let's move on to the next screen, and we'll put 21 through 30 up here. So we got 21. This is 22. I made it quite a bit bigger, huh? Kind of grew. 23 is the next one. So we got 21, 22, 23. Let me kind of add that. Give some life to that one a little bit. Anyway, 21, 22, 23. And then we got 24, 25, halfway through our 20s. Okay, pick it up at the top here at 26. And then 27, 28, and let me do Mr. 8 over again, 28, 29, 30. So there's 21, 22, here let me use my highlighter, that would be a good idea. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, should have used a highlighter on the other ones, huh? But that's okay, we'll just... Use them on the last group, which is going to be our 30s. So up here at the top, just like we did before, two columns, we're going to put our 30s up here. So up here is going to be 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and then back up to the top, 36. 37, 38, 39, and 40. So let me just get my highlighter and we'll go through these once as a little review, quick review of the 30s. So we got 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Okay. Well, you can go back and review this as much as you need to, as much as you want to, to get real good and familiar with the numbers from 1 through 40, because we're on our way to 100, remember, and that's going to be continued in our next lesson. So for now, just practice 1 through 40, practice writing them and counting things up to 40, and in the meantime, that will give you some good practice and a head start for what we've got coming up afterwards. So we'll see you next lesson, and in the meantime... If you want more information on Raise Arithmetic and other homeschool ideas and solutions, you want to visit raisearithmetic.wordpress.com.